Good afternoon, good afternoon. So glad to be with you all. I pray that God has blessed you this week. I pray that you've experienced his goodness. I pray that his, his peace, his power, his provision, his protection has been in your has, has, has lives. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you for how you woke up first and more, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for us making this day, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for us. You've been so good, Lord. You sent your only son to this sinful world to die for our sins. We are so grateful and thankful to you, Lord God. I pray right now you would just touch my lips so I can speak your words only, Lord God. Lord, touch my mind. So, 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 so it can be focused on you, Lord God. Lord God, touch my whole body so I can be used for you at this time, Lord God. But I'm um, your instrument. Use me how you want to, Lord God. I pray for the hearts and souls, for my heart and soul, that 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 that, that God's word, the God's word, will become a seed in us that becomes righteousness, peace, love, grace, and mercy. I pray this prayer and 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 Amen. Now all this month we're talking about God's justice. Now the, the, the current theme is when we mess up, God's justice is still there. We may have to go through the punishment or the consequences, but his but 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 his. And this week we're going from Nahum chapter one. And 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 the thing that come comes out for me is Nahum talking about Nineveh. God told John to go to Nineveh to 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 to, to, to actually preach to them. And he wanted to do it. So he spent three days three days in a big fish. The fish spit him out and he went and spoke. To, to, to the Nevites, they were saved. This is the same region that's going to overtake Israel. Hey, bud, but don't, but, 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 don't worry, don't fret. You're going to hear some good news on this message. It starts out in the Bible. It starts out in verse one, saying, This the book of the vision of Nahum. The 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 um the the, the, the Nahum the echo the, the Nahum the echo shots. Now in verse two, God makes it clear. He says, "God is a jealous God. The the God the the Lord." Vengeance. God's jealous God, the God of the God of vengeance, Lord of vengeance, what is furious, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and and reserve the wrath for his enemies. Now God has told them that they're going to be overtaken by the Assyrians. God has told them it's going to last 70 years. And like we said last week, a dark cloud came over them. They, and, and, they, and they got real sad and depressed. And God said, rejoice. Well... In this 
first was God is talking to the Ninevites. The one who is the one the, the, the Ninevites are their sin. The ones who are gonna overtake Israel. He's saying, You may have them for 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 a little while, but you're gonna have them for a long time. Because I'm going because I'm gonna deliver them from your hand. You see, even though we mess up, even though we met wrong in our lives, God is just, and in due time, he'll deliver us from that so-called hard time that we cost ourselves. When God says, I'm a jealous God, he's talking. To the Israelites, he is saying, "I wanted all of your attention. I want, I, I wanted to spend time with you, but you went out and spent time with Baal, with Asher, and you left me by myself. In fact, I was your king, and that was not enough for y'all." But God is gracious. The punishment will come, but also deliverance, also deliverance will come too. Because in Nahum 7, it says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in their trouble. He knoweth them that trusted in him. But God said, I know the ones who trust in me. If we trust God, our lives will be a whole lot better. It may not be perfect how we want to be, but it's going to be how God means it to be. And then verse 3 says, The Lord is low to anger and the great power. And the Lord will by no means leave the guilty unpunished in the whirlwind and the storm in his way. And the clouds are the dust beneath his feet. God is saying, sure, you're going to be taken. Sure, the Assyrians are going to take into in captivity. But after seven years, I'm going to deliver you. going to bring you out. God is so good to him. He could have wiped us out. But he didn't. The verse 13 says, For now I will break the yoke from thee and will burst thy bonds in thunder. What's that saying? I'm going to bring you out, but in my time. I'm going to bring you out, but in my time. God said, you did wrong. You got to go through the punishment. But the punishment won't last always. That's all I'm saying. I have a message just for you. It's in this word. I know it's true. It doesn't matter what you're going through. I don't know what we'll see through. Trouble don't last always. We're either in a storm, going into a storm. That's how our lives go. But as long as we got God in our lives, we can make it, y'all. And some of those storms we call ourselves. But 
God still gracious and kind enough to bring us out of those storms that we cause ourselves. Woo! So glad for that. That don't cause many storms in my life. But I was down for the count. But somehow, some way, the good Lord brought me out. Just like 2,000 years ago, God sent his only son to the sinful world to save us from sin. Even though we were hard-headed people, we were disobedient. But he ain't ready. But he still, he's still sending his son down here. Because of God's love for us. God uh, saved them at one time. But when the Assyrians, when God used the Assyrians to overtake Israel, he took them out. He punished them. Just know that those who do you wrong, that those who are talking about, those talk about you, you don't have to, you, you don't have to say a word to them. God says, vengeance minds, I will repay. We don't have to fight back. We don't have to get a gun, knife, or, and a, a baseball bat. God is going to find out for us. I was on a job five years ago. All kinds of things happened to me. But God brought me from a situation. And, and, and now I'm working at, 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 at another place. It's a whole lot better. So I say, that we trust God to whom through our lives. Even if we're punished, just hold on a little longer. Everything will be all right. Hold on a little longer. Hold on a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Now, if you don't know Jesus, in a part of your sin, I want to enter. I want to. I want to introduce. I want to introduce to him today. He will make life brand new. Yes, he will take care of you. He'll turn life around. Place your foot on solid ground. He'll be your best friend. He'll never leave nor forsake you. I can't. I, I can't think of that. I I I I I, I can't pass that. He'll never leave you. If you want to know him, just say this prayer. Lord, I come before you, saying thank you for dying for all my sin. Thank you for your shed blood that saved me from my sin. Oh, I give myself to you to come in to my heart, mind, body, and soul and take control, Lord God. Thank you for your great love for me. Lord, you're so good, so kind, so gracious. Thank you for the great sacrifice you have for me. I give my life to you at this moment. Praise prayer then. Praise prayer. Praise prayer. Praise prayer then. Then press amen. Says prayer you're saved. Now remember, trust God at all costs. Trust God when you see things going wrong. 
Trust God when you don't see no no way out. Trust God. Trust in the good Lord. Trust God and take him at his word. Whew. I was doing my hard time, my life not messed up. My body was gone. But God still brought me out and saved me. That's why I'm here talking to you today. God's amazing grace and tender mercies. Go with God all the way and not halfway. Go with God all the way.